all right welcome back so i know in one of my first videos i told you i was gonna go through all of them except the dynamic counter and the area mill and that's because we've already used the area mill in our previous exercise but i really wanted to use the dynamic counter and i made sure i used a big tool in our previous operation so i can come back in with a 2d high speed dynamic counter operation to clean it up and let's go ahead and do that so go ahead and select dynamic counter and over here you're going to notice that all of the rest are turned off so you can only select a chain and all the rest of the, the, the options over here are turned off for a reason and that's because it's a little bit different than the rest it's not coming in the machining it's really just following a counter along wherever you select so go ahead and select the machining region and i'm going to select this chain right here that we've selected before and basically i want i'm telling it i want to run my tool all around that area go ahead and select ok and select ok to accept that all right for the tool we're going to select a half an inch flat end mill so go ahead and go to select library tool if you don't have it filtered Go ahead and filter it for a half an inch flat end mill. Double click it. And we're going to call this 2D High Speed Toolpath Dynamic Contour. Let's keep the holder the same. For the cut parameter over here, we're going to leave everything the same except the stock to leave on wall is zero and stock to leave on the floor is zero. All right. So the contour wall over here, this is where you can specify how you want to deal with the wall that's on the inside. If there's an inside pocket that you're machining. Uh, so there's a radius of tool that shapes the stock. Keep that at zero. Minimum toolpath radius that shapes the stock. Keep that at zero as well. All right. And then this stock thickness. This is a tolerance that you specify for it. Basically, uh, I don't, you know, I'm basically telling it there's almost no stock there when I when I place a 0 0.001 there and that means I'm trying to keep the tool as close as I can uh, to the wall so I'm machining that wall uh, as you know I'm placing that tool straight on the wall and machining a line all around my part right away that's why we keep zeros there and uh, preferably 0 0.001 over here to make sure that to tell it that there is a wall there depth cut we are not dealing with depth cut I'm using the entire flute length so I just wanted to dig in and machine the wall all the way around for the finishing, I'm not doing any finishing again. I just want to run my tool one pass throughout it. Make sure lead in and lead out is off too. Breakthrough is off. And linking parameters, all we need to do is change the depth to negative 0.8. And that's it. Select apply and OK. And you're going to notice there's a toolpath created right there. There's toolpath all the way around your part. So let's go ahead and see that. I'm going to select all of my operations again and select verify. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And move my part so you can see it a little bit better and go ahead and press play so it's creating my first operations first I'll speed that up for you a little bit and then it starts creating that second operation now I'm going to slow it down when it gets towards the end so so you'll see this last operation right here All right, so what I'm going to do real quick, I want to place it into this view while it's machining this last operation so you can see what happens when it comes in over here and over here. And there you go. So you're going to notice that the tool comes in, it goes all around the wall. And in case you didn't see it very well, I'm going to slow it down. and step through my first two operations real quick and then play it and there's your tool so all it's going to do is come in machine all the way through your entire wall i'll speed it up just a hair and clean up any material that it did not get in our previous operation as you can see there's multiple discolored areas especially the radius is over here we expected that but you're going to see a couple colored areas over here especially this area and as well as this area right here and that's because we've already seen it we've already seen the birds in our previous uh, operation but we couldn't see some of the really small ones over here for example and that's why we needed that operation so it came in one nice pass cleaned up all the corners all the radiuses and it came back out for us so this concludes the 2d high speed dynamic mill operation in our next uh, video we're going to learn how to cut this little area right here using two different methods, both the peel and the blend mill.